All right, we start tonight with people are pushing back on how BGE and it's asking for more money to recover from their losses from 2023. Yeah, that's right. The energy provider is asking for another 150 million in rate increases. WMER 2 News Chef Morgan joins us now in studio. So, Jeff, what process does BGE have to go through to get this 150 million approved? Yeah, Kelly Elizabeth, right now BGE is on a trial program to get rate increases approved for multiple years. The thought is this will lessen the burden on customers, but when the energy provider experiences losses like it did in 2023, it can ask the Public Service Commission to reconcile that through rate increases. Advocates don't want the PSC to let this happen. $152 million. It's the amount of money BGE says it lost in 2023. Now, the company wants permission to increase rates to cover the costs, not if advocates for lower energy prices get their way. Utility re regulation may seem complicated, but it's pretty simple. The more utility spends on their infrastructure, the more they can profit. This creates a powerful incentive for wasteful spending, and we re rely on our utility regulators to keep a careful watch. The advocates want the Public Service Commission to deny the $152 million request and to end the multi-year pilot program, saying it isn't accomplishing the goal of lowering the increases for ratepayers. We cannot continue to predicate utility companies' endless profits on ratepayers covering the cost. BGE says the rate increase is needed because the PSC chose the Office of the People's Council's rate plan instead of their own, that the commission assured them any losses from the miscalculation can be recovered through this process. Though people against the plan and increase call this basically a blank check for BGE. Ratepayers will be paying for BGE's investments plus interest and profits to the utility for decades to come. Customers of BGE described the difficulty of not being able to pay their bill or getting their power shut off. We don't want to suffer the difficult added pressure of worrying about rising energy bills. We have to eat, we have car payments, and do you even have young parents put and try to put their child through school and other activities? The energy company says another reconciliation charge is planned to stop the same month this increase would go into effect providing some relief to the increase should the PSC approve the plan. Now there's a hearing coming up next Wednesday where the Public Service Commission will take in public comment on the rate increase. There isn't a set date for the decision to be made on if this goes through or not. So Jeff, I'm trying to keep up thinking about what my electric bill says. The prices just went up. How is this any different? So that is not exactly a BGE rate increase. The cost of energy and the cost of delivery of that energy are different. BGE only delivers energy that other companies provide and passes the cost of it along to consumers. They're not allowed to profit off of it. That's what went up October 1st. The cost of energy being supplied to BGE and then to consumers. That's what we got. All right. October. Thanks a lot.